This happened to me last year. So I created a bed of blackberries. I don't know what it is. Three feet wide and 65 feet long. And uh, two varieties of blackberries. There's a thorn and a thornless type. And they're alternated all the way down there. So I think it starts and goes like thorn, thornless, thorn, thornless. All the way down. They're spaced, I don't know, about three or four feet apart. Probably a little tighter than they needed to be. There's 12 plants. They're 65 feet length and i kind of evened it out all the way down through there i think i even did a video on this i'll link to it above when i was first doing it looks a lot different anyway so i put this fence up mostly to keep the animals out and also to kind of serve as like a trellis right except it did this last year too and i was going to make a joke about it but i never did but um so anyways i think i have more blackberries growing outside the fence than I do inside the fence, which is not really true, but still, they just seem to like to grow outside of the fence. <laughs> and it's pretty much like out all the way down through here. So eventually my whole area where my beehives at could someday be a massive patch of blackberries. It'd be funny, like they'll grow like 65 feet wide and not the length that I put them in. They, yeah, they're all the way down. They're, they're several feet outside the fence all the way down through here. And, I mean, I, I'm okay with that. More blackberries, right? They all grow. I mean, if they grow inside the fence and outside the fence. Last year, I had several that was growing. You can actually see stems I cut off right there. I had several growing outside the fence last year all the way down through here. But those are even, there's another one right there starting to come up. I just think it's funny because, you know, we have these ideas. Like, I thought eventually this whole row would be just a big, massive thing, blackberry patch. And, like, they would know to stay within the fence. Children, man, I'm telling you. Anyways, I just thought I'd share it with you. I really thought it was funny and... We, we go out of our ways sometimes on our homesteads and the way we design things and thinking we're going to control nature and it never is the case. It will always have its own idea where it wants to grow. And uh, anyways, I was just out here in the bee yard. It's actually next to the bee yard. So um, they hadn't really started coming up yet. I wanted to come out here and check, but they are starting to come up now. I had seen like maybe two or three of them had areas where i could see they were starting to get some leaves on them and uh these i don't remember what the technical name is but these will fruit twice each each variety will fruit twice they'll fruit once kind of like late spring early summer and then again in the fall they produce these massive and i do mean i'm sure i've got videos up i mean I got the first good harvest when I was going through cancer treatment. My parents were here helping take care of me in the homestead. And then last year, it was just me here by myself. And I know I took a lot of pictures and I had some video, but I don't know if I ever got it uploaded or not. But they just make these massive blackberries and they are so juicy and so tasteful. I honestly can't wait this till I get them this year again. Anyways, that's all. We're like four minutes in. I really wasn't planning on doing another video today, but I just thought I'd make that joke about how my children back blackberry plants were not staying within the fence that I drew out for them. And uh, you run into that sometimes. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.